Tonight is uh, step two of the soap making process. I will unwrap it right now. Today we get to cut it up and we get to see if it is either body soap or laundry soap. Hopefully body soap. Hmm, I guess it didn't. Oh well. I'm gonna lie that it is body soap and not wearing gloves. Let's cut her out. Hmm, this actually might be quite easy today. Hmm. where it gets sticky. And like I said, this stuff's easy to clean because it's soap. <laughs> After you're done, this is very simple. <laughs> Yeah, well, it just cracked. <clears throat> Yay! Perfect. Let's cut her up. Uh, how do I do this again? Yes, I tend to mend it sometimes. <laughs> No, they won't be that big. <laughs> That'd be hilarious.
Nice. And then I put them on here, and in three weeks, I will have nice, big bars of soap. Mm -hmm. Should have got some wine. Looks like cheese. <laughs> Mozzarella. I love it. Buttons off. Cool. That part's done. Now we're going to pull out the uh, phenophthalein. Yes, they use it at CSI. And we also use it in the soap making process. I'm going to shake it well. Basically, if it stays clear, or a little slight pink's all right. Um, if it's like a really dark pinkish or purple which I had once you have laundry soap I don't think we will because I didn't use gloves and my hands aren't burning like they did that time I had laundry soap so let's see alright we'll let that one sit see it's a little bit of pink that's alright I don't know if there's an expiry date for this stuff. Hmm. That don't look that good. It's looking pretty red, eh? <laughs> mm. Let's see if there's an expiry date for this stuff. There might be. That's red. This is not good. I may have laundry soap. I'm going to have to look into this stuff, see if it's expired. Mm. 